Hello everybody and welcome to a video going over the Puffco Peak Pro and how to install the app on an iOS device. An iPhone, iPad, Path Browser is your way to go about it. If you don't have the app on your app store, it's because you're in a different country and we got this solved, which we're going to do. You're going to have to go into your settings, then from there click on the top, your name, go down to Media and Purchases, View Account. Next, you're going to have to click Country and Region. You're going to pick either Canada or United States. I don't know about any of the other countries. It's up to you on what you want to pick, but I recommend United States or Canada. United States preferred. But a Read all the terms of service, then from there they're gonna ask for a payment method. I don't know, I didn't go that much further, but you could probably use PayPal. Now let's get back to Path Browser. You're gonna open up Path Browser, go to puffco.app. From there, you're gonna go to the top right corner, hit the add to home screen. From there, it's gonna take you into Safari. You're gonna press the middle bottom button there, and then scroll down to the add to home screen. Once you've added it to your home screen, you're pretty much good to go with setting up your Puffco and pairing it to your app and your phone. You'll have to accept the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. After that, make sure that your Puffco's in pairing mode and it will automatically ask you to find a puff code to set up your device. Don't forget to get a 3D chamber. They do conserve on battery. Now to update your Peak Pro basis firmware, go to the top left corner, click on settings, go to firmware. From there, it'll ask you to start the update. I, of course, sped up my footage, but it in general should take five minutes or less. Once you've done updating your Puffco Peak Pro, you want to use Lantern Mode, you will need to log into your account or set up an account. You will want to go to the top left corner or just click on that because it came up and all that. And now after you're logged in, they will give you an epilepsy warning. They don't want anybody seizing out from this app or anything and from there you can pick a bunch of different mood lights and whatnot we're going to set up a new profile to show you how to set them up and then also how to set up your temperature profiles as well in just a little bit but in general we're going to start by setting up a temperature profile and with that after that set up a mood lighting profile i'm doing these in tandem together because once you have the temperature profile set you can set up your mood light profile to have it directly correlated to your temperature profile that you want now in setting up a profile you can either make a new profile or just take an existing profile and edit it this is done by clicking on the profile clicking on the top right corner and then clicking on edit once you're in those settings you can change the temperature and duration and it has a whole bunch of variations in between there also the mood light from the bottom left corner if you click that it'll pull up all of your mood light profiles which then you can pick which one turns on with your temperature profile once you've set your temperatures and duration you're ready to do the mood lighting and where is the fun part where you have a whole bunch of different settings that you can go in and out between also to add more colors to your color wheel press the bottom right button underneath the color wheel also if you want to take one of those colors out press the bottom left there are six light motion movement options, one being static, two being fill, three being fade, four being disco, five being split, and six being spin. I do count the static as one in its own because you can just have it set, so why not count it? If you missed Phil, go back a couple seconds. Fade is right there in front of us. It is one of my favorites. I'd say Split is actually my favorite, followed by Fade and then Phil. This is Disco right here. It does Disco, and you can access that by triple-clicking the button. Split is uh, my favorite. It really just has a certain kind of color pattern that I really like. And last, there is Spin, which I honestly get a little bit dizzy looking at. It is really fast, and it's going around. So they did get that pattern right, but it's not for me. Maybe it's for you. Also, don't forget to name your Mood Light profile so you can find it easily in the future. I recommend everyone make a system in their head for what color colors are the high temperatures while colors are the low temperatures and then correlate them accordingly because if not then you get kind of mixed up especially when you have multiple colors in the mood lighting profiles. I try to keep it to maybe three maximum. If for some reason your mood lighting doesn't save just go back into your mood lighting and you should have the profile saved so just slide that slider over and it will be good to go. To change the settings of boost mode click on the rocket ship. Boost mode for the people that don't know is the feature when you double click the button on your Puffco Peak Pro base after it's already heating which will then start another heating. This setting will change what that double click will actually do to your extended session. This really gives you a lot of wiggle room with how you want your puff code to interact with you. And changing the boost mode setting is universal for all temperature profiles. To adjust your light level, go to the left side and with that slider, you can choose what percentage. Also, there's a power button. If you turn it off, you can't turn back on your puff code from your app. Next, turning on stealth mode, you're gonna go to the top right corner and it is stealth mode right there, right in front of you. Also, you can also turn on stealth mode by quadruple clicking the Peak Pro button. When you're doing ready mode, you pretty much just turn on whatever setting that you have already active for your temperature profiles once it's done take it off of your peak pro wireless charging base and you are in your profile ready to heat up and it is already started now last thing I need to go over is triple clicking the button while you're in the middle of a heat or heating up it will turn on party mode which will turn on the multi light ultra rainbow whatever you want to call it and from there you're pretty much good to go other than that don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel become a member help support the work that we do on this channel to make life easy for everybody out there don't forget to stay elevated and peace out.